German camouflage patterns of World War II. During the Second World War, soldiers of the German Wehrmacht would utilize various camouflage patterns to conceal themselves while in the field. These camouflage patterns would be implemented on both clothing and equipment, such as winter parkas, smocks, and sniper masks, just to name a few. In 1931, Splittertarnmuster, or the Splinter Camouflage Pattern, was introduced to the German Army and would serve as its standard camouflage pattern for the duration of World War II. This pattern consisted of a tan background that was covered in green raindrops and multiple jagged shapes, which is colors alternated between green and brown. A second variant of Splinter Tarn Mooster, the B variant, was adopted by the Luftwaffe, the only difference from the first variant being the overall darkening of the camouflage. Splinter Tarn Mooster would see implementation most commonly on the Zeltbahn, which could be used as a tent, poncho, or stretcher when necessary. The elite Waffen SS also developed their own camouflage patterns, such as the plane tree pattern, palm tree pattern, blurred edge pattern, and oak leaf patterns. These Waffen SS patterns saw implementation most notably on smocks, helmet covers, and zelt bonds. Patterns with both spring and autumn variations were often seen in reversible form, with the spring pattern printed on one side and the autumn pattern printed on the other. Near the end of the war in 1945, a camouflage pattern called Liebermuster, named after its creators, was introduced to replace all other camouflage patterns in service. Liebermuster was designed to absorb infrared light, featuring bright hues of green and red, along with brown, black, and a tan background. Although Liebermuster was meant to replace all other camouflage patterns in service, its late arrival in the war caused this to never happen. Overall, the camouflage patterns of the German Wehrmacht were some of the best camouflage patterns developed during the Second World War, many of which were ahead of their time. For the sake of this video's length, I decided not to go into much detail for some of the Waffen SS camouflage patterns. If y'all would like to see a video going more in depth into Waffen SS camouflage patterns, please feel free to drop a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching, please consider supporting this channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see y'all in the next video.